I don't care, I'm still free You can't take the sky from me Take me out to the black Tell them I ain't coming back Burn the land and all the sea You can't take the sky from me said that. Hello? Can you let me in? You want to run this ship? No. Well, you can't. Yeah, that's what I just said. Look, I'm here to meet Captain Reynolds for a trade mission. Can you open the door? Well, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Well, it's been a few years. I haven't changed that much. I definitely hear you haven't. My days are not taking you seriously. They're certainly coming to a middle. The feeling's mutual. Now, are you going to show me around so we can get off this planet? No, it's never a smooth flight, but it's damn good to be back on Serenity. I love this ship. Learn all the math and the verse. You take a boat in the air that you don't love. She'll shake you up just as sure as a turn in the world. Love keeps her in the air when she ought to fall down. Tells you she's hurting for she keens. Makes her home. Well, guys, welcome back to another one of our videos. Uh, that is probably the longest intro I'm ever going to do on this channel. Uh, this is back on Space Engineers, and we're on Serenity from the show Firefly, and filmed Serenity. Uh, this is going to be quite a long video, as there's a lot of moving parts, and I've tried to follow it exactly to how the blueprints were on the actual show. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of going up and down ladders and moving around. At the moment we're in the ship utility and oxygen supplies. And as we come out of this section, there is a few ladders that join all the different floors together dotted around, but we come into the crew rooms where you've obviously got all the different crews that then lead up into the main front hall on the ladders as well. Uh, I did put in our uh, a room in this section as well, because there was actually one spare, even though, I suppose, strictly speaking, she normally stays on the shuttle. As we come through to Malcolm Reynolds' room, uh, this one is built right in the corner, so I did find it quite difficult to fit it all in, so there is kind of an awkward jut to the left just as we go onto the ladder. I did make sure he was the only one that had a TV as well, because I just thought it would probably suit his character. And then that shows you where the ladders then come back up to that main corridor we were in. This one then leads up towards the bridge, but just before we do go in there, I'm going to just go below into the armoury, as this is tucked quite neatly underneath the bridge, where they keep all the guns and extra supplies and things that they did. And then there is a door that then leads into the drop down just in front of the main cockpit. There's an EVA hatch that drops underneath the nose as well. Just before we leave the cockpit, there is actually a toilet hidden in this corner. I think that only comes up once or twice in the show. And there is also supposed to be an EVA hatch in the middle of this airlock that goes out of the roof, but I couldn't quite seem to fit it in the gap that was left in the doorway. 
And as we come back down the main corridor, that then leads into the kitchen and dining area, which is where most of the scenes inside the ship on the show are. I'm quite proud of this one. This was the main room that I started with after I did the hangar bay downstairs. I think I managed to get it pretty spot on. There was a lot of angles where things were kind of crammed in, which I didn't think were going to work, and then ended up main bit being this sort of seated area in the corner where there's a window. And if we come out towards one of the sides, we do actually have the two shuttles which sit on the wings of Serenity. And I will get out and fly one of these later in the video, so I won't go into too much detail around them. And this one's the cargo one. And then on the other side, there's the one that belongs to Anara. I did actually find these shuttles quite tricky, not only to fit them inside the hangar doorways that come out of the side of the ship, but also to get the folding wing mechanisms in and still try and keep the aesthetic of the inside and outside of the ship as it is in the show. It was quite tight in some places, especially the cockpit. So then just behind the airlock for the shuttle there is another EVA airlock and this one has one that comes out into the roof and also another one that comes out onto the wing and for all the internal airlocks I did do a separate button so you can only open them from the inside or someone has to let you in the ship and you can't just board it. A bit better view of the shuttle there. Moving towards the back of the kitchen and dining area, we've then got the back hall. This one's about half the length of the forward one and it's on a flat plane instead of a slant. There's only three rooms in this one. First you've got the storage room on this side which has a little balcony that looks over the rest of it. One's tucked nicely in the side. Moving towards the back you then get the engine room. And this probably looks the least like it does on the show but I did what I could with the blocks that were given to me because this is a flying model as well. So the warp drives I think do look quite good on the wall and then for the actual engine in the centre I tried to keep a rusted sort of tone to it. There's a few hidden compartments down here as well that then lead into the crew quarters on the lower deck. So these rooms at the back are where Simon, River and Buck stay. And there's a couple of spare rooms as well as well as the holding room that they repurpose to hold the lawman after he tries to turn against the crew. You probably saw on the previous side as well, there is a couple of passenger storage rooms just tucked in the sides. And the two central rooms have a door on each end as well. This one here being the holding cell where they put the lawn on. You come out of the crew area, that then leads into the infirmary and the examination room. It has a staircase that goes all the way around with a few windows on the inside and outside. The game just glitched a bit there. There's also a back staircase that leads back up to the back hall. And everything then links into the cargo bay as well. And this is the examination room through these doors. There's a quarantine button that I put on the side as well for if it needs closing off. And there's also another toilet hidden just in this corner. Actually thinking about it, I did forget to show you one of the rooms in the back hall, but thankfully that links in via the infirmary. It's the stasis pot room just up here, and you can see the ladder in the distance where it goes into the back hall. I 
Um, with that, I'll put my character in the dorm that Malkin assigned him and probably start to show you how the moving parts all work. So the first thing we'd look at is inside the hangar bay, this craft here, the MF-813 flying mule, as well as the bomb bay doors. If you just come back to this door control panel, that'll open up the doors. It goes straight through to the ground below. And as for the mule, I have just fitted this one with atmospheric thrusters, so it can only work when you're on land or in a planet's body. And managed to get this one pretty spot on to how the show has it. Uh, it works quite fast, even does loops and just fits through the hangar bay doors. I did have a bit of a squeeze trying to get it through with those flaps on each side. It can actually get up to quite a good speed as well considering it's only got two engines on it and unlike the show I did fit this one with a couple of rockets and some Gatling guns as well just because, you know, space engineers, you've got to have guns on something. I didn't put anything on Serenity, so it made sense. And they're just proving it can do the loop. And then moving on to the actual ship itself. As you see the ship from the outside, I couldn't quite get that bit to rotate just in front of the main engine bulb. But as the engines turn on, uh, we do get some lights that turn on to mimic that. And then I've used a yellow paint in the gaps to try and mimic the way that the glow comes through. Um, well, it appears the landing gear may be stuck on the ground. So uh, just give me one minute. Sort this out. The ship set up pretty much how it was when it was still on the planet and the main things to look at initially I'll go with the landing gear and then the engines also rotate and probably lastly go into the shuttles so I've designed the landing gear to try and hide inside the sides of the ship and I think it works quite well I did have a few problems initially start to move the engine out of the way so you can see them slowly tuck behind the solar panels. The engines on the side do have a full 180 degrees raise and drop and you can lock them in any position you want to as well as they've got the rotation and that does do a full 360 degrees with the ability to reverse it, lock it or move each engine separately to the other one. As for the shuttles, each one is linked up via the cockpit to be on a piston system along the wing and as soon as the ship's clear off the door that will close and seal the airlock behind it. As we had a look inside Anara's shuttle, 
She is number two. Uh, I think we're probably going to go and fly number one, which is the cargo and maintenance shuttle. That one's a lot more bare bones. It doesn't have a table, chairs or anything like that. It just serves a purpose. And it's simply a case of disconnecting the connector that's attached to the piston on the wing and then you can raise up and as soon as the actual shuttle is clear of the ship you can then rotate it out and open the wings. And that pretty much wraps up this episode, so if you have made it to the end, thank you so much for watching the entire video, it has been a bit of a project of love this one, so uh, until the next video, thank you very much, and don't know if it's going to be a Minecraft or a Space Engineers, I'll see you next time, bye guys. Take the sky from me